Now let's look at uh, the main keys we're going to be playing. Now, I'll try and relate what I say here to uh, BC boxes. Um, let's say that uh, D. Let's call that position one. That's our major scale in position one. And that'll give us D. On the, on the BC box, it'll give us C major, which is used less frequently in Irish music. Um, so probably people won't even start off learning the scale straight away. But I think they should. Um, so that's D major. And that is uh, a very ha handy key for the uh, C-sharp D button box. Um, if you want to play in D major on a BC, you cannot play it all in one row. You have to play in, let's say, position one pull fingering, which would be E for us on the C-sharp D box. If I wanted to play an E major, I'd have to go and grab two accidentals from the outer row. They would be G-sharp and D-sharp. And that's how you have to play the D scale on a BC box. So you'd need F-sharp here. So even for playing in D, you have to cross row on the BC. Um, the next uh, handy scale for us would, on the C sharp D box, would be E, not E major, I just played there, but E minor scales. A lot of uh, Irish tunes are in E minor, and they're played up and down the row, with, of course, using uh, magic notes where, where, where advisable, the F sharp uh, pull, particularly. But uh, E minor. Uh, very often E Dorian. Now, a true E minor would have a C natural. E Dorian would have an E and e, a C sharp. So, if you had a tune, that is so characteristic of Irish music. That is an E Dorian scale. So, it's a minor scale of E, but instead of having the C natural, you have the C sharp. This big open interval. is the hallmark of a tune in E Dorian. It's a kind of E minor. You tell the guitarist that it's in E minor, but it's actually in E Dorian. Uh, e minor tunes are actually few and far between in Irish music. Pure E minor, but they do exist. Uh, using that C natural. So that's the next step. We position one, pull, uh, minor. That would be D minor on the BC box. And, in fact, BC boxes uh, are much better at playing in D minor than C sharp D. And there's quite a few D minor tunes in the Irish tradition. To play in D minor uh, on C sharp D, we have to do quite a bit of row crossing and a lot more pushing and pulling. Um, it's probably not one of the keys that you will learn straight away, whereas uh, D minor for a BC box is a complete doddle. Now, going up the scale, our next uh, big port of call will be G. I suppose I would call this, we should call that position 2 for the E-mind. Let's call, let's call G position 4, because it's the fourth of the scale. So we have G major. We have to go and get our C natural over here. Corresponding fingering on a BC box will give us F major. And then for A major, we need to go up a scale, up a tone. And that gives us G major fingering on the uh, BC box. In fact, I have to say it, that uh, the key of G is slightly easier on the BC than it is on the C sharp D. The difficulty is uh, with G that the, uh, the notes, because of the octave on the pull, is five buttons apart. Uh, the tunes seem to be spaced out more and a lot of up jumping up and down on the row in G tunes um, on the B C, on the C sharp D on the um, B C things are slightly more compact and slightly easier and some neat use of uh, shapes in the fingering. However, of course, we get the benefits of that uh, ease on the C sharp D when we want to play in A major. So. 
our A major fingering, pick up a BC box and play exactly the same fingering, you'll get the scale of G. So uh, that's it, you know, with D, G, and A, we have uh, most of our bases covered. The relative minors, we looked at, uh, we looked at uh, E minor, which is actually the relative of uh, G. Uh, we have A minor. Uh, again, in Irish music, very few tunes in true A minor. Most of them are either in A Dorian... tune like that, it would say it was in A minor, you tell the guitarist it's an A minor, it's actually in A Dorian because although we have the, the minor third of the C natural, we have uh, F sharps instead of the F, F natural. And in fact, A, A Dorian is a lot easier to play uh, on the C sharp D box than is true A minor. We also get A mixolydian, which uh, tunes like... No, not tunes like that, but tunes like... can't think of any right now. There's a lot of D mixolydian tunes. Anyway, uh, A mixolydian would be tunes uh, which are apparently in A major, except instead of having a G sharp, they have a G natural. And uh, I can't think of any right now, but uh, loads will come to me as soon as I turn off the camera. But um, they, are, they are very handy on the C sharp D box. And the next uh, minor we want would be B minor. That's a nice key to play in on the C-sharp D box, and it's a very nice to key fingering to use on the B-C box, and that's where you get A minor, and that's why a lot of uh, tunes by the great Paddy O'Brien are in A minor, because it falls very nicely on the uh, semitone box in that sixth position minor fingering. So let's just finish off this uh, quick look at notes, and by um, having a quick look at chords. Uh, on a standard 8 bass um, C sharp D, uh, you have a pretty standard layout of uh, chords, and I'll show them. Now, on this box, it doesn't have a stop to cut out the thirds, but the thirds have been taped off. What that means is that the chords, which would normally be major, are in fact all they've been neutered, if you like now. A major chord has a, a major chord of D, which is composed of D, F sharp, and A definitely a major chord. Uh, a minor chord of D would have an F natural. Place the F sharp. Minor, major. Now, uh, if you have a D major chord, then you can't use the D major chord against um, a tune in, in D minor, otherwise you'll, you'll get that kind of clashing happening with the F natural on the melody side sounding against an F-sharp on the uh, bass side. Horrible. So, if you remove the thirds from the chords, in other words, if this chord here is composed merely of D and A, like this, then it will do duty for a, ma a D major chord or a D minor. No clash. And in fact, that's all these chords here. Uh, we have... Um, you see uh, yeah, B minor and B major both work um, let me just show you the chords uh, on not standard setup you have D here on the push and A on the pull and those are the basses you would have on a, a one row melodeon with only two basses and they would allow you to play uh, a lot of D tunes just using those two basses Just, you know, tap away on the basses merrily, and if you happen to be pulling, uh, you'll get an A major chord. If the melody happens to be on the pull, you'll get A. If it happens to be on the push, you'll get D. So that works quite well. But the, uh, the three chord trick of D major is D, A, and G. And G is here, so if you play that same tune... possibilities. 
So uh, uh, D, D major and D minor, A. Now um, you can get all the treble notes of a D chord here. So if the D chord is important, well, you only need to have it in one place. In a lot of boxes, there's also a D here, but you only need to have it in one place. A, however, if you're playing an A major, you've only two chords of the A, two notes of the A major chord are available in one direction, and that's in the pull direction, and it's E and C sharp. So the other note in the A major chord is A, which is push, so that doesn't work. That works against the D chord. So we have another A here. Bit of a nuisance, but uh, this is how it works. Of course, we have another C sharp here. That's magic note. So we can have a partial chord there. Partial chord here. Partial chord there. Here we have E. E neutral, of course. So we can get E minor here. We can't get E major chord all in one direction here because the, the third of E major is G sharp, which is on the push. So we can't play an E chord against that G sharp. We don't have one. But we have E minor, or uh, if we were E major, if we were just whether we happen not to be touching the note of G sharp. Over here we have a pair of F sharp and B. And we need these nearly always in minor tunes in Irish tradition, which is good because we can get a full chord of F sharp minor on the right hand side. And F sharp minor, you might wonder when you need that, but you'll need it in tunes in B minor, and it also makes a very nice substitution in, um, in, um, in the key of D also. B minor. We have B and F sharp here. If we wanted to play D major, we'd actually get that here with a D sharp. But most of the time, we'll be using D, B minor. And over here, as we said before, we have G. And very often you'll have D duplicated here, but I really recommend that you uh, get your box tuned so that you have G. Uh, this actually is something wrong with this one, so I won't play the chord there. Here we have uh, G on both directions, because G chord is G, B and D. They're in different directions. The G and the B are here, and the D is here. So, very useful. So that's our standard bass layout, and it's great for playing in tunes with two sharps, that is, tunes in D major, tunes in B minor, tunes in E minor too. Um, not so good for uh, tunes with one sharp, well especially G, because for that we would really need a C chord and we don't have one. So, shame really, but you'd need to go to 12 bases to get a C chord. But we're, we're, we're good, we're good to go, as they say, in D major, in E minor, in G major, in B minor and uh, and in A as well because in A the three chords we need would be A, E and B uh, in B minor we'd be needing mainly B minor, F sharp and D uh, in G we need, uh, we, well, we need G, C and D we only have the G and the D we don't have the C and, uh, and so on in E minor we'll use a lot of um, well, in Irish tradition anyway we'll use Instead of using B, which would be used in more conventional tunes in the Irish tradition, with E minor, we'll normally use E, G, G, sometimes A, and very occasionally B. There you go, a quick roundup of chords. I think we'll stop there for introduction number two. Hope you find it useful. Please uh, feel free to make comments, leave comments, and if there's anything you'd like me to explain that I haven't touched on, I'll be uh, happy to try. Thanks.